Hello everyone, welcome back to Nusat Mamki online classes. In last video lecture, you got familiar with e-commerce. In this video lecture, we will start chapter number 5, that is introduction to m-commerce. And here in part 1, we will get familiar with two additional concepts, that is m-commerce and l-commerce. Some people refer to m-commerce as next generation of e-commerce. We will also focus on l-commerce, that is location commerce. So here we will start our first topic of this video session that is m-commerce. We are familiar with the term e-commerce that means buying and selling of good or service. Here in m-commerce also we will buy or sell good or service through the use of internet enabled wireless device. Idea behind using internet enabled wireless device or portable device is to overcome the limitation of doing commercial transaction on desktop computer. And that internet enabled device can be a mobile phone, PDA. Full form of PDA is again very important from exam point of view. PDA stands for Personal Digital Assistant. PDA is used to keep reminder for your meeting or schedule and it Keep track of your work and remind you with the feature of calendar and note taking. Internet enabled device can be a smartphone, tablet, palm top or any mobile device. Here we will see the example of M-Commerce. Or you can purchase airline ticket using Make My Trip and movie ticket using Book My Show, restaurant or hotel booking and reservation. Stock market analyze, performing share and stock transaction. Then next two terms are important one that is mobile banking and mobile brokerage. Mobile banking means customer can access account balance, make transition and it can do banking related transaction via mobile phone. Mobile brokerage means stock market service like purchase or sale of share via mobile device. Now we will see the usage of m-commerce. M-commerce provide the user with the advantage of flexibility and ubiquity. Ubiquity is often used when you want to talk about M-commerce. Simply it means a mobile device that is connected to the internet and it will allow the user to get any information from anywhere. Flexibility is possible in M-commerce because by using mobile phone the consumer can conduct business transactions without being fixed at a computer terminal or being physically present at the shop. And ubiquity is possible because these devices are carried by the user wherever he or she goes, making it possible to access the internet from any place. It will allow real-time transaction while on the move. Now our next topic is benefit of e-commerce. Earlier, people were using mobile just to make or receive a call. But nowadays, mobile are coming up with new features that make phone as a smartphone and m-commerce gaining popularity with the availability of faster wireless network speed and responsive website that can be open in any handheld device. So here we can summarize m-commerce as the integration of wireless network that can be accessed through handheld device and internet. First point is, it provides convenience to the user. There is no doubt about the convenience to the user. In just a few clicks on the mobile device, the customer can do shopping, banking, download media file, booking ticket and many more such activities while on the move. Next is, it enables the user to be contacted at virtually anytime and anywhere. Here, the term localization is used to reach the consumer or user at the moment itself when the user is interested in buying or participating in shopping. Next is reduce transaction cost. In e-commerce, we came to know transaction costs get reduced because it will eliminate the order processing costs and it will eliminate intermediator that result into lower cost. Next is reduce the time to order. Here, user does not need to be on the PC or laptop. With the mobile commerce, the customer need not travel to the store to purchase their product. Rather, they can buy their product online. Many people are doing shopping or any transition while traveling from home to office. So that is also possible because you have handy device in your hand. 
you does not need to be on the pc or laptop that result into efficient time utilization next is streamline business process streamline means simple and efficient business process here mobile application are faster so customer can browse or purchase product faster on their mobile application next is provide global reach global or wider reach that means most people have cell phone so they can easily and conveniently use mobile phone to do real time transaction at any time and from any place across the globe that is global reach next is conduct business 24 by 7 that result into instant support to user here there is a no time bound to carry out our commercial transaction using mobile application while on move flexibility of accessing the information through any mobile device here you can access the information mean using mobile phone we can receive the information while on the go at any time that you know this thing here information is available on the same day or on the same moment you don't have to wait for the next day to get that newspaper or to get that information next is mobile payment here payment can be done using the mobile device just as we do it in a computer in the same way we can do in mobile even the next point is m commerce also proved to be very useful to deliver the time critical and emergency information next point is the location based application enable the user to receive relevant information in location based marketing handheld device will identify your location and it will provide relevant information or service based on your physical location next is customize alert can be easily received on the mobile device here we can see personalized or customize alert means website or app can show browsing data or it can show the previous browsing history what product you are interested and it will alert or update the customer on arrival of new product or when there is a some discount or scheme next is instant connectivity and availability of faster 3g service nowadays m commerce is gaining more popularity because of 3g and 4g service and using mobile device customer is getting easy connectivity to perform transaction and the last point is timely information can be the user the information like flight or train schedule delay or cancellation one can get on real time basis using mobile device we have seen many advantage of m commerce at the same time it has a number of limitation some of the limitation of m commerce are limited screen size mobile device come with limited screen size compared to pc so it become bit difficult for people to access and navigate on small screen next is limit the type of file and data transfer various model and types of mobile device are available in market some model may support one type of file other may not take an example of iphone that create problem while transferring file through bluetooth next is user interface is less convenient compared to pc in mobile device sometimes you may face problem because of low resolution or multifunctional keypad in mobile phone result into less convenience user interface next is mobile device also have limited computing power memory and storage capacity and next one is it operate over wireless network which are less secure as compared to wire network security concern is one of the most crucial aspect of m commerce there is a higher chance of risk and fraud in wireless network compared to wire network so wireless network is not that much secure next is it offer a limited bandwidth that means frequency spectrum is allocated to various mobile operator which impose a limitation on speed of operation in various application many people are sharing the same network so definitely there will be limited speed even next is high cost of establishing mobile and wireless broadband infrastructure to erect tower or to upgrade technology to set up m commerce business is very expensive it required huge startup cost in establishing infrastructure for internet enabled wireless device here we will see the application of m commerce first one is mobile marketing and advertising 
one of the best and popular way for companies to reach a large audience is through mobile advertising and advertising on internet has become a major source of income for most of the portal many retailer are offering location based mobile advertisement to target consumer who is really interested and willing to buy our product and thereby retailer can generate good amount of revenue and they can increase the sale even then next is mobile ticketing user can easily buy a or rail or movie ticket on your mobile device after booking the user can get e ticket message directly on the mobile device in india irctc provide m ticketing or mobile ticketing service full form of irctc is important that is indian railway catering and tourism corporation limited to book a ticket you need to create an account from irctc and if user already has an account then he or she can log in the portal using the username and password in that portal you have to provide a source name destination name date of travel and ticket type like e ticket and you have to specify the quota like general quota and on clicking find train button it will show the list of available train and you will get an e ticket message or mail on your mobile device next is mobile auction the god family with the concept of auction in e-commerce here a user while on the move can access auction site make a bid monitor bid and take a timely action on the bidding process many of the auction sites have bill gateway bill gateway mean the it will allow the user to pay for the good and service and the interface that provide access to the mobile device through wireless in our test book as an example of auction site ebay is shown to bid for the product on mobile device next is mobile entertainment user need to subscribe to entertainment libraries to search for song video or game and easily download them in their mobile for playing later entertainment service such as paper download paper event or on subscription basis can cater to a large number of mobile user it will fulfill the need and those who are willing to pay for the service here you can go for paper download means you have to pay for every download like if you are downloading that video for that you have to pay paper even means you have to pay for particular live event or for particular live session or on subscription basis you have to subscribe to enjoy live streaming for a few days or few months next is mobile purchase mobile purchase allow customer to shop online anytime anywhere nowadays mobile version of e-commerce sites can be viewed in mobile device in your textbook the procedure of mobile purchase on flipkart is shown next is mobile financial service today many popular bank and financial institution provide application to perform banking transaction access account information remit money remit money means transfer or send money from one account to some another account via mobile phone and other mobile equipment for example u mobile is the mobile service that are provided by the union bank this point is again important remember the name of application provided by the union bank that is u mobile this application also provide facility of net banking from there you can transfer money you can check your statement here you can request for any additional service like asking for checkbook and all these thing you can do using that particular app next is mobile information service mobile information service include news service stock market data sport news financial record traffic information and many more can be delivered to mobile phone user and the next point is location and search service when you wish to do any commercial transaction like buying and selling via mobile device then current location of the mobile phone play a vital role location and search will provide a list of store in the city or nearby area of the user's current location for the desired product knowing the location of the mobile user allow the vendor or seller to provide location based service such as local map local offers local weather people tracking and monitoring it also be used to get direction to particular place like movie theater restaurant hospital or other places here m commerce get over now we will see our next topic that is l commerce
or you can say location based search with more and more wireless handheld device like PDA. As I told you earlier, PDA stands for Personal Digital Assistant, Cellular Phone and Pocket PC. There are significant opportunity for the growth of M-Commerce. Although M-Commerce enable access to good or service regardless of the location of buyer or seller. But in many situations, the specific location of buyer and seller is important to do any commercial transaction. Nowadays, various location-specific application and services are emerging. This application tracks the user's location in order to deliver a service or product. The use of location-specific application or technology which provide the location information for business purpose is known as L-commerce. The technology use the geographical location of the mobile device to determine which application are appropriate based on that area. It enables the user to log their location, track the location of another person and find places such as bank or restaurant. The technology works by using signals from GPS, cellular and Wi-Fi hotspot. We will see the term GPS. GPS stands for Global Positioning System. Remember it? GPS utilizes satellite that is orbiting around the Earth to accurately determine the location of mobile device by sending signals from multiple satellites. It is based on worldwide satellite tracking system, whereas the GPS signals are generated by a group of satellites that orbit around the Earth. Here we have to get familiar with the term triangulation. To locate a point, a mobile device will utilize three satellites to create an intersecting point that locate the device within 500 meters. This is known as triangulation. Here you can see in this diagram, to locate a point, a mobile device will utilize three satellites and that three satellites create an intersecting point that form an triangulation. And this satellite will send a signal to this mobile device. By the way, GPS does not require internet connectivity. Offline also, GPS can use to find a location of device. And in case, if GPS signal is weak, poor or blocked, then mobile device can use the signal from cell tower or Wi-Fi hotspot. Another example of location-based service is where one can use map to find the path to the destination. Here, you can either type or you can speak in Google map to find the destination. For example, the user want to reach a particular destination whose path is not known. Using the map, the location-based service tracks the user current location and that current location is indicated using blue color pointer. Location-based service offer convenience and opportunity to provide service that are more quick or precise and can meet a customer need. Some example of location-based application are First one, information or directory service. Dynamic yellow page automatically inform the user about the nearest restaurant, parking facility, traffic update. Earlier, people were using directory service like telephonic directory or dynamic yellow page that show the contact number or show all the detail of all the doctor, grocery shop, clothing shop, hotel or restaurant, whatever you are interested in that local area or in that nearby area. Next is tracking service. Tracking service is possible using GPS. You can track any asset. You can locate your friend in that particular geographic location. In social media app like FB, you can find nearby friend by broadcasting your current location. You can track stolen car by using GPS. Even you can track the children. Next is emergency service. Emergency medical ambulance, search and rescue mission, roadside assistance, police and fire response. Location-based service can also help to spread warning messages and safety-relevant information on their device based on their geographical location. Next is advertising promotion. Targeted ad. Many social media ads like FB will display the advertisement on the side of the page based on your location or your previous buying history. For example, as you will update your status from single to engage, you will start seeing advertisement of jewelry or wedding dresses that is local or nearby to your current location. 
here you can get the promotional message nowadays give away is trending in instagram to get new customer whoever is interested in your business customer identification in a show using true color you can identify the customer mapping creating map of specific geographical location next is navigation plotting route from one place to another that is all for the day thanks for watching stay tuned in for the next video